Water goes in the cycle, yes it does. Look, water goes in the cycle, yes it does. Oh my, wow. Hello friends, and welcome back to Hey Miss Kim. I'm Miss Kim and I was just doing an experiment with water to see which items can sink and which items can float. Let's take a closer look to see which one sunk and which one floated. The top floated, the coin sucked down, and the crayon sunk down too. But why did all these things sink or float in the first place? Well, to help us understand better and water in a whole new way, let's take a look at the water cycle. I got to see the water cycle in my classroom. We took a plastic bag and drew the, a cloud, the sun, and water below, just to see how it moves through the water cycle. We got to see evaporation, precipitation, and condensation. Wow. The water cycle is so cool and it happens all around us every single day. You can try this experiment at home to see the water cycle too. So we've got a special watercolor creation that Kaylee helped me do. And she's gonna show you step by step of how to do this watercolor creation. Did somebody say create? I love to create. Let's create! Let's start by gathering our materials. You're gonna need paper, washi tape, watercolors, a cup of water, and a brush, and some paint. Start by decorating your shape. You can outline this shape as you can see on the paper. You can outline it with a circle, a square, and you can begin decorating. Once you have your lines for your tape, you can start to paint in between the lines to add a little more creation and more decoration for your watercolor card. If you don't have paint, you can also use materials such as markers and crayons to color in your shape as well. If you don't have watercolor paper, you can use a paper plate. And you can also draw any other type of shape that you'd like. We chose a square because it's just one of our favorite shapes, but you can use a circle, a triangle, a heart, or a diamond. Most important thing to remember as you're going through your process is to create and let your imagination run wild.
look how Kaylee's mixing those colors. Once you start to come to an end with your painting, it's time for your new materials. You're going to need some scissors and a hole puncher and yarn. This is going to be the start of you creating your lacing card. But first, let's cut out our shape. Next, let's take our hole puncher and we'll begin to make holes all around our shape. This is what we're going to use to lace our yarn through. Now take a piece of yarn and start to thread all the way around. If you need some help, just ask a grown up that you have nearby. Top it off, tie your string in the back of your lacing card, and you're done! Now you have a beautiful watercolor lacing card! The water cycle is so important to our most important rivers, lakes, and oceans around the world. And I have a fun story that's going to tell you why. Once, Once upon, upon a time, time there, was there was a little, little girl, girl named Kaylee. Named Kaylee. One day, her mom had a great idea. Let's go to the So they clicked on the elevator and they raced to the aquarium. Once they were inside, Kaylee found a whole new world of water animals. It was the most magical place she had ever been to. She discovered a world of sharks. They were very mystical and magical creatures. She also saw bubbly beluga whales. Once, 
one of her other favorite animals with the puppins. The coral reef animals were her favorite. So many different colors. They came in all different shapes. And she loved to see them eat tiny pieces of coral off of the rocks. Wow, an entire school of fish. The ocean is so full of amazing creatures, Kaylee found. She loved to see them swim and explore the water around them. Kaylee even got to touch a stingray. Two fingers, please. After we saw all the ocean animals, Kaylee had a problem. <gasps> there were no more ocean animals, but Kaylee found a different kind of animal, water animals. She discovered freshwater animals that live in rivers, lakes, streams. <gasps> She was so excited to go see these new freshwater friends. She never thought that she could discover so many new cool animals. Look how they go. She found that they come in different shapes, colors, and sizes too. Oh, look at our tiny friend. Freshwater animals are so amazing. Kaylee and her mom had the best time discovering fresh water animals. And now Kaylee had a love for all water animals. See you soon. Bye. This special segment, this is going to be all about expressing your creativity with music and doodles. So go ahead and grab your favorite crayons, markers, color pencils, or just a regular pencil and some paper. Listen to the music and doodle along with me. It's time for some music and some doodles.
just for you because I want to tap back into what we talked about a long time ago, which is talking about creativity and how you can invite it into your home and into your child's life. Now, just how I just did with my music and a doodle, this is a simple activity that you can do right at home. Grab some materials, put on your favorite song, and all you're doing is moving to the beat and putting those words and music down on paper. It's a simple activity that can bring out creativity in your kids and in yourself. And while I'm at it, this is the perfect book. It's called The Artful Parent, and it has so many different resources, guides, and tools that you can use right at home. I know I use a lot of things. The Artful Parent. And you can become an Artful Parent too. So pick up those crayons and markers and get started with some creativity. And that's a moment for you parents. Thank you everyone for joining me for Hey Miss Kim today. We learned so much about water. We learned about the water cycle. We went on a super fun adventure and special thank you to the friends at the Georgia Aquarium in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, and so much more. Join me next week and don't forget to see me on all platforms. I'll see you next time.